I bought these white sneakers about a year ago from Thursday Boots. Finally, I'm reviewing them. Here we go. Online Thursday has kind of gotten this reputation of being, um, you know, the brand, the brand to beat in terms of, of quality, style, and function uh, at an amazing price for men's footwear. Now they're actually doing quite a bit of women's footwear, which is great to see as well. So um, I think the reason that it took me so long to finally get this review out is that it took me so long to actually wear these for long periods of time. That's a lot of longs. Uh, and the problem with that is that these shoes are actually, even though they're, they're Napa leather, they're actually very tough. The leather is quite thick. It's very thick for um, a casual, you know, white minimalist sneaker. And especially at the back here, it, it did not flex a lot and it was very stiff. It would rub against my heel quite a bit. And the way I walk, I walk a lot on, on my heel. And so this would give me um, blisters big big blisters so I could only wear these shoes for a few minutes at a time uh, unless of course I was you know just sitting walking around the house but if I went out for a walk it was five ten minutes max and then I was getting blisters just because the back part of the shoe here the heel was so stiff it was giving me uh, giving me problems the rest is completely fine they are fully leather lined glove leather interior the tongue the sole the sides the back here is um, what they call rough out leather, so it's not the same as the sides here, which also gave me a bit of an issue when I was wearing them uh, barefoot because this rough out leather just causes more friction on the foot than something like glove leather, which is a lot smoother. So I just have very sensitive skin on my feet. It's very easy, very prone to uh, blistering if the shoes don't fit perfectly. So that is something that I had to adapt and, and, and break in for a very long time is just wearing them for short periods and then constantly increasing the time, giving them a break. Uh, I found that wearing the shoe and then putting in a shoe tree right after kind of helped to stretch them out, give them a little more width and depth after you warm up the leather by wearing it on your foot, that's the key. So if you do find your shoes are a little tight at first, wear them, warm them up, then put in a shoe tree that's gonna help stretch that's gonna help stretch them out uh, instead of, uh, you know, just forgetting about them and, and only wearing them on occasions and then they ended up, they end up killing your feet and you don't enjoy it. About the shoe, it's, I, I've covered it in my unboxing video, but everything is pretty much the same. I gotta say the leather is just phenomenal. The quality of the leather they give you for the price. Uh, at the time of filming, this is, these go for $129. Insane, absolutely insane. Full grain, Napa leather, Beautiful cotton laces, metal eyelets, glove lined interior, leather everywhere. You can wear these barefoot, no problem. Uh, they have their own proprietary soles, great soles, no complaints. They have a lot of grip, they have a lot of uh, durability, they don't seem like they're gonna crumble. And of course, they have uh, comfort footbeds. So, over the year that I wore these, I, nothing seems to have collapsed but they mold it to my foot perfectly well, so it's very, very comfortable. Uh, it's almost like a, a custom fit now. My foot imprint is perfectly in the in the sole, uh, and I can wear these for long periods, eight, 10, 12 hours a day, go walking for long distances, wear them barefoot if I want, because again, the key to that is that they're leather lined, so your feet won't sweat too much, and if there is sweat, it's not gonna stink because it's it's all natural, um, all natural fi fibers. One trick I've heard, and I've tried myself is that if you do find your feet sweat too much or they stink and you do want to wear these without any socks just use ball powder uh, again talc free ball powder sprinkle it in your shoe put your foot in and you'll find that it helps to reduce the sweat and kills any odor and I find that's, that's a great way of, of wearing leather shoes without any socks if that's something you want to go for but you know I just love how the leather has, has developed a bit of patina and especially its texture over the time it has these, you know, these small creases and marks in it. Uh, and of course, you know, I strongly recommend buying shoe trees so that you don't have just a giant crease on your toe. You wear the shoe, you let it air out for half an hour, an hour, and then you put the shoe trees in and it keeps them looking beautiful even after a year, just like that. Uh, so uh, Thursday sells their own shoe trees, which you know work well with their shoes. You can get another pair off of Amazon for I don't know 20 bucks a pair. You don't have to kill the bank. 
I will say one thing though with shoe trees, I strongly recommend you go with cedar, okay? Not plastic. The reason for that is that cedar absorbs the humidity. And humidity is one thing that kills your leather and makes it even more creased, is when it traps that humidity. So yes, plastic shoe trees will, you know, stretch out your shoe and help keep its shape, but they won't do anything to soak up that humidity that's trapped in your shoe throughout the day. And that's really what kills leather shoes is that, that constant sweat from your foot and humidity that stays in the leather and then it starts creasing it and working it. Especially if you only have one pair of shoes that you wear day in day out for long periods of time, they're going to start to look rough very quickly. So that's why I recommend spend just a bit more, like 20, 25 bucks, 30 bucks on a pair of shoe trees, cedar shoe trees that you can keep for life. And this is you know, natural fibers, it's porous. It'll absorb the, the humidity from your foot, from your shoe, and that way you're gonna make them last a lot longer. Uh, because again, if you invest in a nice pair of shoes, you want them to last as long as possible. Uh, <clears throat> but otherwise, I gotta say, other than that, uh, I just love the, the patina that it's developed in the leather, the finish. I haven't had to, to wax these often. Um, the best way to keep them clean is just best way to keep these clean is just a magic eraser. Just rub it, wet it, rub it through the sole, and um, and that's all really, that's all you need in terms of, of care and maintenance. Um, they're just beautiful, beautiful leather shoes for 130 bucks. I can't, I can't stress that enough. Full cotton laces, metal eyelets, nice, beautiful, thick tongue. I mean, look at how thick that is. Fully leather lined on the inside. There's not an ounce of plastic crap, fake shit anywhere in here. This is all uh, uh, natural materials, so uh, very comfortable once they're broken in. I don't know how long that breaking period will be for you. It depends on on your feet and how you walk. Uh, for me, though, it was it was quite long. So that's the only downside that I had with these is that uh, the leather was quite a bit tougher than what I expected. Um, but. Um, Otherwise, I think, you know, you can wear these with, with shorts, with chinos, denim, light wash, medium wash, dark wash, gray, black denim. Uh, even if you want, you can wear these with like slacks and a polo. Very versatile statement piece in any young man's wardrobe for the spring, summer, fall, warmer weather. You're looking for a nice pair of white leather dress sneakers. At 130 bucks, you really can't go wrong with Thursday here. Not sponsored, but I gotta say, they, they absolutely crushed it. So another small point I want to touch on is their branding. Just very nicely done, you know. If you know it's there, it's there. And uh, and that's it. Like, there's no big bold letters. Sure, it says it on the inside, on the heel, but, you know, no one sees that. Uh, a bit on the sole, but that's about it. It's, it's just nicely done. Little subtle touch. Thursdays, it's perfect. That's, that's how branding should be done for everything, in my opinion. Um, and also did I mention nice cloth, not cloth, cotton bag that you get with these shoes. Again, at 130 bucks, most companies wouldn't even be thinking of this. And, and yet you get one here. This both shoes, the nice elastic at the top. So if you do bring them somewhere traveling, I went to uh, Toronto a few weekends ago, brought these in my suitcase and the bag, it's perfect. It doesn't dirty your clothes. So um, yeah, I'd say, if you're looking for a nice pair, grab one, grab some shoe trees, and you'll be amazed how long these will last you and how comfortable you'll be every time you wear them. That's all I gotta say. Thursdays, they're the real deal. Back them on, guys. Catch you in the next one. I think Thursdays crushed it with this, and so, uh, yeah, that's why I recommend them. If you're looking for uh, something that's, that's nice, versatile, great quality, and won't break the bank you know where to find them. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.